Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland, and today I have the privilege to interview Shelly Pitmont from Tampa Bay. Hi Shelly, how are you doing? Doing great today, it's a beautiful day. Same here, thank you for uh, having the time to have this conversation with me. So Shelly, leveraging 20 plus years of HR expertise, he helps job seekers to land their dream job. Shelly isn't your average career coach. She has been a corporate recruiter and HR director for Fortune 500, small businesses, and everything in between. She's seen it all from hiring side. She read countless resumes, interviewed hundreds of candidates, and filled positions for entry level to senior leadership. In 2018, Shelly trans, uh, translated their, this expertise into My Career GPS, a dedicated coaching service designed to help job seekers navigate the modern landscape and make a lasting impression to land their dream job. So uh, Shelly, my first question for you is, I always ask my clients, like, what is your clarity? What is your values? What kind of jobs do you want? What kind of manager do you want? What kind of company do you want? Why do you think that clarity is important? And is there any specific exercises or tips that you give to your clients that will be beneficial? That's a really good question. And I am a great believer in career clarity. Mm -hmm. it, it To me, I kind of explain it is you want to go on vacation. And if you don't have a destination and don't know why, Mm -hmm. you want to go there, what you want to do, then you're kind of aimlessly maybe driving around trying to discover what that fun thing is. Yes. But when you have career clarity, then you understand yourself. Yeah. You understand, you know, what you want to do, why you want to do it. Mm -hmm. You understand the value you bring, the skills that you really enjoy doing, and kind of your interests. Yeah. All of those you package into, okay, this path is right for me, and this path is not right for me. Yeah. Now, anyone who has been in a job that is not right for them knows how excruciating that can be. Yeah. Because you may not be doing the work that really interests you. Your values might be violated by your boss or the company culture. Um, you might be doing and using skills that are burnout skills for you. That mean you can't do them well, but you just don't want to. Yeah. And you're not using your, your natural strengths. And when we use our natural strengths and we get to use them, we're very engaged. We're very productive. And I always tell my clients, you know, when you are in a job that is not good, yeah. then what tends to happen is you vent, but you're venting with your family and your friends. And, you know, they feel bad for you. They want to support you, but they cannot hear that all the time. Correct. And so it doesn't just impact you. It impacts the people around you. But we also know that sometimes immigrants or newcomers, or even let's say if you're in between job, you just need a job because you need to pay the bills. And sometimes you sacrifice your values. So in that sense, what advice you have to people? So again, this is part of your long, long term strategy. Okay. For career clarity, it's just not about what is for today. It's also what where you want to go and kind of your path there. There are times when you need to get a job because you don't want to be homeless. Yes. You need to pay your bills. That is a reality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what I would tell people is. That's okay to do, but don't let yourself get stuck there. Yeah, okay? those, are great, those are great tips. Thank you very much. So for the audience watching or listening, I'm going to ask Shelly a couple of questions. I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. So like and share. So tune in next time for another great question with Shelly.